quick food deli. That uh, sign looks like it's been there a while. We could maybe do a view from over on the far side. And we'd be looking back toward the side. This is a good place we can stand over here. I'm in Kingston, New York, and I want to do a painting of this gas station. And I want to reduce it pretty much to light and black, or light and dark, so almost black and white, but a little bit of warm and cool in the light, a little warm and cool in the dark. Last night, I coated the surface of the paper with a priming of white mixed with cerulean blue in casein. Now, casein seals after it dries, so it won't be disturbed with wet washes of the gouache later. Now using a regular graphite pencil, and before that I was using a watercolor pencil, I'm drawing the lines. I first just eyeballed them, I just observed them to try to guess their slopes, but now I'm trying to put those guesses into a regular grid. So now at this point I've got the basic lay-in enough so I can start establishing the dark. So I'm going to use a large flat brush and come right in and paint the darks first. Here's the palette on a thin piece of cotton cloth that's dampened with water. I have titanium white, cadmium yellow, ultramarine blue, a cerulean, which is really phthalo, burnt sienna, and black. I won't use much of the black. As these strokes go down, two things happen. They tend to float on the surface a little bit because of that casein priming. And also, they dissolve those lines just a little bit because those reddish-brown lines are done with a water-soluble pencil. What I'm keeping foremost in my mind is making the shadows darker than they appear and the light areas will be lighter than they appear. Okay, so now I'm mixing white with some warm colors, yellow and burnt sienna. The little gas station building is a warm color and I'll let some of that cool priming color show through. I'm looking for both warm colors and cool colors and the shadows and uh, fortunately that building is a bluish color so it makes a good dark framing mass for all the light values. The storefront itself with all its signs and detail is what attracted me to the scene in the first place. It's the center of interest so I'm lavishing most of my time in this area and using small brushes. Before we go, I thought it'd be fun to show the guy that works in the convenience store the final painting. Hey, yeah. I, I almost couldn't quite paint you in there, but I got everything else. Excellent. That's good, Jack. Yeah. Thank you. 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 I hope you enjoyed. There's lots more videos at any of these buttons. And this is just a sample of a longer form DVD or download that you can get at those buttons that say Kunaki or Gumroad in the About section. Thanks for coming by.